in this lecture we will consider the pn junction under forward bias condition when the positive terminal of a battery is connected to the p side and negative terminal of the battery is connected to the n side of the battery n side sorry of the p n junction then this condition is called as forward bias condition this condition is called as forward because now the electrons or holes will move in the forward direction suppose that the applied voltage is v so in forward bias condition this is a simple p n junction this side is p and this is n so in forward bias forward bias condition we have to attach this p to positive terminal of this battery and this n side have to connect to the negative terminal of this battery so now this is in forward bias condition So let's 
मेक एनर्जी बैंड डायग्राम बिफोर एंड आफ्टर दिस फॉरवर्ड बायस सो फर्स्ट लेट मी ड्रा एनर्जी बैंड डायग्राम ऑफ दिस पी एन जंक्शन as we discussed in earlier lecture this is vacuum level this is minimum of the conduction band and this is top of the valence band similarly this is for p side and this is for n side this is for p side that is vacuum level conduction band and valence band we know that the fermi level for a p type material for p type semiconductor is near to the valence band and for n type fermi level is near the conduction band so this is ef this is vacuum level so after formation of a junction these energy bands can be drawn as since level of the electrons in n side is higher than the p side so electrons will move towards p side therefore the fermi level of the p side will go in upward direction so we can so this is vacuum level this is minimum of the conduction band and this is the so this is e vacuum this is ec this is ev again this is e vac this is ec and this is ev so after formation of this junction there is an equilibrium in the fermi level so now these bands will bend like this so this is our depletion region and this is the built in potential vbi vbi so this is for zero bias 
so when we apply a forward bias to this junction so due to let's is simply i am connecting a battery here for better understanding so when we connect negative terminal of the battery to the n side and positive terminal of the battery to the p side of the pn junction now due to this negative terminal the potential energy of the electrons in n side will increase and at the same time the potential energy of the electrons in p side will decrease so in this way the bands will move in upward direction for n side and the energy bands will move in downward for p side so let me draw this diagram here again so now there is reduction in the built in potential this is for depletion region this is evac this is ec this is ev now our built in potential is this which is equal to vbi minus v so here the total voltage v total is equal to vbi minus v so in this way forward bias changes the equilibrium condition now since there is reduction in barrier potential now holes can diffuse from p side to n side and electrons can diffuse from n side to p side in this way we can get a diffusion current in this pn junction due to this change in equilibrium condition we know that the bulk regions outside the depletion region have high concentration g 
due to plenty of majority carriers in the bulk in comparison to the depletion region in which there are mainly e-mobiles ions therefore the applied potential or voltage drops mostly across the depletion region so here we can see that the applied voltage mostly drops across the depletion region since there are less number of charge carrier in this region consequently we directly opposes VBI and potential barrier against diffusion of charge carriers is reduced to vbi minus v in other words we can say that the applied forward bias effectively reduce the built in potential and hence 
built in electric field which acts against diffusion as a result many holes can now diffuse across the depletion region and enter the inside therefore there is the injection of says minority carriers that are holes into the end region or end side similarly access electrons can now diffuse toward the p side and enter this side and therefore become injected minority carriers so now we have to consider this diffusion of holes and electrons so due to the reduction in built in potential reduction in built in potential 
barrier the concentration of diffusing holes just outside the depletion region in n side or n region can be written as pn0 which means pn when x not equal to 0 which is equal to p p not exponential minus e v not minus v or we can write it v b i minus v by k t here this is depletion region this is depletion region and this side as we know p and this is n side here we know that this distance is xn and this is xp this is an xn and this is xp so now i am considering whole concentration in n side just outside outside this depletion region that is <coughs> here i am taking this direction as x prime or x naught and x not equal to 0 means I am talking about this point. So as we go in this direction here x prime is increasing. So this is our whole concentra concentration in this region. Similarly we have to determine the electron consideration after this xp distance in p side so by using maxwell boltzmann equation we can write this equation so here here x prime equal to 0 And we heard, I think we all know, P, P naught is the concentration of holes as majority carriers. in P side but we know that
the whole concentration P n naught that is whole concentration in n side. in unbiased junction is so we know that the concentration of holes in n side with zero bias is equal to p n naught which is equal to p p naught exponential minus e v b i by k t i forgot to write the equation number so let's start from here this is equation number first And this is equation number second. So this is the concentration of holes in N side when there is no applied field to this PN junction. So if we divide equation first by equation two, we can get PN zero by P n naught, which is equal to P P naught exponential minus e v b i minus v by k t by P P naught exponential minus e vbi by kt so we can cancel these two terms and by solving this we can write this as p n naught which is equal to p n naught exponential E V by K T. E V by K T. So this is equation number third. the equation number third that is this equation is called as law of junction this equation is called as law of junction so we can see that this equation describes the describes the effect of the applied voltage v on the injected minority carriers just outside the
depletion region so with no applied voltage that is when v equal to 0 we can get pn0 which is equal to pn0 which is true by this above equation Now it is worth to note that since there are mainly electrons in the n region the injected holes in the n region recombine with these electrons and those electrons lost by recombination are readily spread by the negative terminal of the battery. that is connected to the inside the current due to the current due to Holes diffusion in the N region can be sustained because more holes can be supplied by the P region.
which itself can be supplied by the positive terminal of the battery meaning here is that when holes from p side diffuse into this n side they will recombine with electron and those electrons let's say they are 3 4 5 6 electrons in this terminal of the battery i am trying to clear it in a very sim very simple way now one electron is recombined with this hole now since there is one electron less so now this electron is going forward in this n region so one electron is lost due to recombination here and the same one or same number of electron will be supplied by this negative terminal of the battery here and this in this way there is a continuous current in this pn junction similarly this one hole is recombined here so same hole is supply by this positive terminal of the battery so in this way we can get a constant current in this pn junction this is due to holes and similarly electrons are injected from n side to p side the electron concentration just outside the depletion region can be written as np not which is equal to np not exponential ev by kt the injected 
इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन पी रीजन रिकॉम्बाइन विद सम ऑफ द many holes in this region those holes lost by a recombination i am repeating the similar sentences as i have written for diffusion of holes so those holes lost by recombination can be readily supplied by the positive terminal of the battery connected to this side the current due to the diffusion of electrons in the p side can be maintained by the supply of electrons from the n side which itself can be supplied by the negative terminal of the battery in this way the electric current so a p n junction under forward bias is due to the diffusion of minority carriers
therefore this current is known as diffusion current however there is a small amount of drift current due to majority carriers are also available or also present but this drift current is independent of applied voltage so we can neglect that current so the main current in a pn junction in the forward bias condition is due to diffusion of minority charge carriers so now we have to consider the current density of this diffusion current so first let me consider the diffusion current density due to holes and then we will consider the diffusion current density due to electrons so first the whole diffusion current density gh can be written as so we can write gh as e dh by lh into del pn not we have dh is the whole diffusion coefficient and lh is the whole diffusion length by using law of junction we can write del pn not which is equal to pn not minus pn not 
which is equal to p n naught exponential e v by k t minus one. So on Sakti shooting this value of del p n naught in the above equation sorry i forget to give a number to this equation so on substituting this value of del p n in the above equation we can get j h which is equal to e d h p n naught by l h into exponential e v by k t minus 1 and we know that the thermal whole concentration pn naught is related to the donor concentration we know that there is a mass action formula for semiconductor so by which is equal to p equal to n equal to n i or p n equal to n i square so by using that equation and for n type semiconductor n equal to n equal to n d so we can write here p n naught n n naught which is equal to n i square or p n naught which is equal to n i square by n n naught p n naught and n n naught are the concentration of electrons and holes in thermal equilibrium condition so we can write p n naught which is equal to n i square by n d here i have put n n naught equal to n d that is number of donor atoms so by using this value of p n naught we can write value of j h as j h which is equal to e d h n i square by l h n d into exponential 
EV by KT and minus 1. So this is the current density due to whole diffusion and similarly an expression for electron diffusion current density can be written as that is j e which is equal to e d e n i square by l e n a into exponential e v by k t minus 1 we have d e is the electron diffusion coefficient l e is the electron diffusion length and as you know Na is the concentration of acceptor atoms so finally the total diffusion current density can be written as that is j total which is equal to j h plus j e which is equal to e d h by l h n d plus e d e by l e n a n i square into exponential e v by k t minus 1 so this is the total diffusion current density in a pn junction under forward bias condition and now i am neglecting this j total so i am writing only j so here we can write j h we can use a constant because here e dh D E L H N D L E N A R all are constants. So we can write a constant as S naught and this term as it is. E V E V by K T minus one. 
so this is the total diffusion current density or total current density because here drift current is very small so this is the total current density in pn junction and this is a very famous equation which is known as shockley equation so this equation is known as shockley equation this is a, a very famous equation in whole concept of solar cells we use this equation here the constant j s not is known as the reverse saturation current density that depends not only the that depends not only on the doping and d and n a but also the materials via n i d h d e l h l e l h and l e so this constant depends on doping concentration and also the nature of the material so we can draw a iv characteristic of a pn junction in forward biasing so this is and we can get current or current density here i am using only current in the scan of milliampere in this direction and in this direction this is applied voltage v in volts so we can find a current like this at a particular voltage we can get high current and the point at which this sudden increase in the current
takes place is known as knee point or knee voltage so this is knee point and for silicon this is about 0.7 volt so this is 0.6 0.5 and so forth and one important point is that so far we have considered that under forward bias the minority carriers diffusing and recombining in the neutral region that are supplied by by the external battery or external current that is so far we have consider considered that the minority carriers diffusing and recombining in the neutral regions only and we are not considering the same process in depletion region however some of the minority carriers will recombine in the depletion region so the external current or battery must therefore also supply the carriers lost in the recombination process in the space charge layer or region or depletion region
so therefore we have to add this amount of current in the Schokler equation so I am directly using this current as this current density as J recombination which is equal to J R O into exponential E V by 2 K T minus 1. So this current is due to the recombination in the depletion region. So now we have to add this current into the equation that we determined for total current density. So now the total current will become as JSO exponential EV by KT. Here I am neglecting the minus 1 because this term is very high as compared to 1 plus this equation J R naught exponential E V by 2 K T so we can combine these two exponential term, terms and we can write J as J naught exponential E V mu K T so this is our final equation for current in a pain junction under forward bias condition and here this eta or mu I think it is called as eta is known as ideal factor which is 1 if this is 1 then there is no recombination current or there is no recombination takes place inside the depletion region so which is 1 when the current is due to minority diffusion in the neutral regions and this can be equal to 2 when it is due to recombination in the space charge region Here J0 is also a constant. So this is all about the P-injunction 
under forward bias condition i hope now you will understand this diffusion current in the next lecture we will consider the pn junction in reverse bias condition